All right, so in case y'all missed it and been under a rock for the past 24 hours, Cardi B and America's favorite troller, Azalea Banks, have been going back and forth at it all over social media. Everything stemmed from Azalea's recent interview with The Breakfast Club. I'm about to go through all this drama and how it led up to Cardi deleting her Instagram. But let's jump into this interview with well, Azalea first. Did you Cardi B uh, illiterate, uh, was it? untalented rat? I did. Why? I feel like maybe two years ago, the conversation surrounding black women's culture was really reaching an all-time high. And we were really, like, discussing, you know, our power amongst ourselves. And, you know, Beyonce came out with Lemonade. And, like, there was just this really, really, really intelligent conversation going on nationally. And then everything just kind of changed. And then it was like, I'm just talking about, like, this caricature. You get what I mean? This Mm -hmm. caricature of a black woman that black women themselves would never be able to get away with, you know? Like, if my spelling and grammar was that bad, just right. don't understand how we go from Beyonce and Lemonade and Solange and all of these, like, great conversations, Black Lives Matter, all these conversations to, like, this. Well, black women aren't monolithic, though, either, right? I know we're not monolithic, but come on. All right. Well, y'all heard that. So, The Shade Room posted this interview, um, the clip of that part, you know, on their site, I mean, on their Instagram page, of course. Cardi saw it, and she went in on um, the caption. So, I'm going to read this word for word, y'all. She said, Beyonce, wasn't Beyonce the same woman she was talking shit about and dragging all over the media? I'm from the hood. I speak how I speak. I am how I am. I did not choose to be famous. People chose me. People followed me on Instagram, and the people gave me a platform to introduce my talent. I never asked to be an example or a role model. I don't want to change my ways because I'm famous. That's why I just mind my business. This is coming from a woman that bleached her skin but want to advocate. Goodbye. I'm not apologizing or killing myself because of who I am. Then she posts the caption um, of herself. I don't know why she posts the caption on her on her own picture saying stupid hoe, unimportant, unattractive, unemployed. Tell a Maddie, get some guap guap bickin head. OK, so Azalea saw that. And of course, she was never going to just let that rest she decided to go in okay um on her twitter so she says so because i point out that you get away with being the typical caricature of a black woman that society says is wrong and you respond by calling me unattractive and bringing up skin bleaching to basically make fun of me for not being light-skinned Carby is really a bird brain, lol. She really doesn't have the vernacular to engage in any discussion about black women's culture, music, or hip hop at all, lol. She's really a hood booger, wow. Plus, I also come from the hood. So does Nicki Minaj, lol. The hood is a beautiful place full of loads of creativity, smart and talented people. You're illiterate because you're lazy, not because you're from the hood. Especially when you are on full, when you are a full on stereotype. You are illiterate. You're a baby mama, number four out of five, to a man who has women crawling out of the woodworks with kids, videos of your nigga fucking other women. You're a real life episode of Maury, sis. And for as far as black women's culture and music has moved in the past two years, the fact that your overall statisticness is being merited as success is a clear indication that the suits backing you are using you as a weapon against black women's consciousness and culture. Those suits are trying to redirect black women's narrative by inserting you. Black women were discussing self-love, entrepreneurship, politics, and feminism. Then in you, Then in you come promoting gang culture, unprotected sex, illiteracy, and fighting. Ultimately promoting things that send black women to jail. It's no secret that hip-hop has been used to entice black youth into activities that send them to jail. No secret that record execs purposely invest heavily in artists that will advertise the prison industrial complex. Woo! All right, y'all, that was a lot, all right? So it's not done here. Once Cardi saw that, she took it on, um, you know, she took it, she took it personally, obviously, because she started to post a rack of posts. Um, she posted one, 
one, I guess, interview from Azalea a while back when Azalea said that she actually liked Cardi B's uh, rapping a lot. And then she posted another one that said, suck my ass. Um, basically, I guess she was just upset. So she posted suck my ass on her Instagram. Um, but after she heard Azalea, you know, go in kind of intelligently, this is when she responded back a few hours later with a long, long message that she clearly edited or had someone write. So it says, I reread this a couple times for the Aquilas and the bees out there. A woman who constantly finds joy in belittling black women, Beyonce, Rihanna, Sky Jackson, Remy Ma, can't try to stand for them because it's convenient. The difference between me and you, I never pretended to be or represent someone I'm not. I've made it where I am by being myself and staying true to that. I'm not trying to represent nobody but myself. You busy trying to be the voice of reason and a representative for women of color when you can't even reason with yourself. You can't understand where your insecurities come from and why you're not happy in your own skin. So you think because you can't figure your shit out that you can create confusion for me, make me unsure about who I am. I know who I am, a daughter to a Hispanic father and a Caribbean mother, and I'm proud of that. I never dismissed my heritage or my culture. I never pretended to sound like anyone or look like anyone for attention or to make me feel better about who I'm not. I've been this way always. You think because someone uses a lot of big words and long sentences that makes them smart? How smart are you if you don't know the meaning of illiterate means to not know how to read and write? I can do both and speak two languages fluent, fluently. Just because I mix a few words up, forget to use commas or misspell a few words doesn't make me illiterate and it doesn't make me stupid. And because I laugh a little harder or talk a little louder doesn't make me a caricature. <laughs> you think you're advocating for women and you're doing the opposite i pray you find peace in your own heart and reason in your own mind pray for your own success before you pray for the downfall of others all right cardi that's what i'm talking about girl so after cardi wrote that y'all she soon deleted her entire instagram okay azalea even though cardi clearly deleted her instagram and said her piece azalea still was not done so she she decided to post a picture of of uh, Cardi on her Instagram and to go in with a long caption. This is the last one I'm reading. So it says, Bacalis, sis, give it up. You have a fever and are leaking breast milk everywhere trying to come up with the refutable comeback. Sis spent 12 hours proofreading the message while still completely missing the point. You and whoever wrote this reply for you don't have the intelligence to engage in this not so complex discussion. I spoke about it for all of two minutes in the interview and you respond by calling me unattractive, mentioning my bleaching my skin and telling me to suck your ass, immediately proving yourself to be exactly who I thought you were, a bird. Sis, let's not forget um, let's not forget that you look like a big toe with a hammer nail without all of that contour on your face. You are very me- mediocre looking light skinned woman with cold sore scars on the side of her mouth. A coated tongue you love to wag around and horribly deep set eyes for your information. I bleached my skin due to a severe breakout I have from a depot parvo shot. Depo Provera shot. I think that's birth control. Anyways, some dark skinned women have problems with hyperpigmentation and it can take years for our scars to fade. Once again, you miss the point. The color of my skin has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this greater discussion surrounding black women's culture and our representation in the media. From what I know, you have always identified as a Latina. You've only recently begun to identify as black once you became a part of hip hop and felt pressure to represent the woman you so often call burnt, bald headed roaches. Even so, it's clear that you are having a problem with this newfound proximity to blackness as evidenced by your 
your propensity to turn any and all attempts to engage you in these important cultural discussions into faux sympathetic crybaby rants about how you're just a dumb bitch from the hood who never asked to be a role model. Reverse psychology will not work here. As a black woman in hip hop, it is imperative that you use your newfound black womanhood responsibly. Saying things to Rolling Stone like, I don't even use condoms. When HIV remains a threat to the many minority girls who patronize your music is irresponsible. I suggest you leave these types of cultural conversations alone for now. You don't have the range. God damn. They are just dragging each other. Azalea knows how to cut deep, bruh, where it hurts. Like, she pulls out everything that you just don't want her to ever mention. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Uh, This situation is crazy. Um, Like I said, Cardi has uh, deactivated her Instagram for right now. So, she don't have no posts up. She don't have no pictures up. Um, That's kind of interesting to me being that, you know she was basically founded from social media i don't really know how she'll do with with um you know not being on there engaging in her fan base that's kind of like who she is she's a social media you know person even though she's big now i think she still has a lot of people who follow her on social media and like look forward to her being very open and honest with her life So I definitely see both sides of this story for sure. I do believe that Cardi gets away with a lot of things that other women of color could never get away with. But it's cute and it's okay with Cardi because she's not really black, you know, so they kind of let her slide on that shit. Um, Although I do find it a little, it's a little, you know, her, her antics are funny, but it's almost like I wish it would just stay in our community. But it's like now since she is outside of our community and like very um, widespread in the white community, you know, going on Jimmy Fallon. And I, I give her props for acting like herself. You know, it did get her to where she is. But at the same time, yes, you didn't ask to be a role model. But sis, you are a role model now. And hopefully you having that baby will, you know, kind of open up your mind a little bit. I see both sides, you know. I don't think Cardi's dumb by any means. I think that she uses the crutch of being from the hood and and this, that, and the third to kind of allow herself to kind of sit where she is and be comfortable when in reality she could do better, you know. She could. I do see her maturing. She has came a long way from when she first came out. So if we give her more time, you know, I do feel like she will, you know, clean up a little bit. You know, but I do want her to stay true to who she is. But then at the same time, it's like you are kind of setting us back with some of the shit you say. And it's like some days she feels like she's black. Some days she's not black. And it's just it's it's a lot. I really see both sides of the story. And it's really hard for me because I personally like Cardi B. But then I don't like what the media is using her to promote. I don't really like that. And I think a part of her is being used and she's just not really opening up her eyes to it, you know, and that's like a problem. It really is. So I don't know, y'all. Hopefully this um, settles down. Hopefully Cardi isn't all stressed out. And hopefully she can learn that, you know, she don't have to reply to every fucking thing. People are going to have an opinion about her. And I know she says she's from the hood or whatever, but she got to realize, Cardi, boo, you're not in the hood anymore. You really not. There's really no reason for you to respond to everything. There's no reason for your damn sister to respond to everything. Y'all really got to level up, dog. Y'all really do. And it doesn't help that you're hanging around fucking your baby daddy and his crew. And they fucking love to jump damn uh, fans and shit. You know, they all y'all are still acting like y'all in the hood. And that's really going to fuck y'all up in the long run. It's going to make you lose money, popularity. And this really may be a 15 minutes of fame type thing if you don't get your shit together. So I don't know. I'm I'm fortunate for the conversation that it opened up. 
Azalea. Yes, you have a point, girl, but you got to focus on yourself. You know, if you really believe so strongly in these messages, then I want you to come out with some fire songs promoting these messages. Okay, make people pay attention to you in a good way, not always for starting drama and beef. You know, I'm rooting for everybody of color, you know, to do something here and make make a positive impact. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This shit's crazy. Cardi, come back. Come back to social media. We need you, girl. We need you. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.